can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe, I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. My storm! I caused this! I caused all of this! I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything! And all I really created was just death and destruction! Fuck all of that, okay? You were given a power, you didn't ask for it, and you saved me! Which had to happen, all of this did! Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her! Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority. You were all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather... Deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe! Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Max, it's time. Chloe, I'm so, so sorry. I... I don't want to do this. I know, Max. But we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Being together this week, it was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, Chloe. I'm gonna miss you so much. Always love you. Now get out of here, please. Do it before I freak. And Max Caulfield, don't you forget about me. Never.
It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho!